Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo. Welcome back to the Up Next Fighting YouTube channel. Standing with me right now is Mike Segura. Mike, it's so nice to see you out here today. Uh, you're getting ready to make your Up Next Fighting debut at UNF7. Uh, talk to us about the emotions. Uh, what are you feeling heading into this upcoming fight? I mean, I'm really excited to make my debut with UNF. Um, you know, I've been around for a long time. I have 18 professional bouts. And uh, so uh, debuting and, and doing all this, it's just very comfortable, very, very, very much my, my uh, expertise now, you know. So I built a life around the sport, love my life. I have uh, two beautiful boys that I'm out there representing now, and it's just giving me more fuel for the fire. So I'm excited to bring that to the cage. That's awesome, man. So you mentioned 18 professional fights. What's your record? I'm 11 and 7 currently, yeah. Nice. Jumped at the gates in a hurry, and, uh, you know, it was a rough start to my career, but I've had a great second half, and I can't wait to keep going. Nice. What changed? Like, what changed? You mentioned you kind of started off rough, but you've had a good second half. What changed? I mean, honestly, maturity comes with age and experience, and uh, what I lacked back then was patience. I wanted to fight, so I fought. I, just like many fighters that wouldn't. When you want to do something, we just do it. That's why we're doing what we do. Uh, but with that maturity, you know, I started to learn more. I started to take my time more. I started to really apply more. And more important than all that was I realized I wasn't made of glass, and I was able to push through adversity. So when I learned that lesson, things started going real well. So what kind of fighter are you? Like, what are your, what are your skills? What are your strengths? What are some of the things that you're, like, really good at? Yeah, I mean, I'm known, uh, it's funny, my, all my finishes are split. It's like four knockouts and four submissions, so I can, I can pretty much do it anywhere. Um, I'm a finisher, though. I'm a fighter. I jump in there. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm willing to go in there and trade and, and do all that. But I think I'm a striker. I think that's how people would probably uh, classify me, which I think is funny. And then that leads to submissions because, you know, when a guy gets rocked and they're shooting out of desperation, well, their neck's available pretty easily. So that's kind of how I got a lot of my submissions. Awesome. So, you know, you mentioned you've been in the sport already for a long time, but take us back to where, how did your journey in uh, mixed martial arts begin? Man, uh, like many of us, you know, just uh, hurt boys trying to figure out how to survive in a cruel world. And uh, that's, that's, that's the truth. I mean, I could paint you a picture and all that stuff, man. But uh, yeah, I was in a lot of trouble in my life very self-inflicted, you know, putting myself in bad spots. Um, and I was just lashing out to the world and I found some uh, humility and I found some consistency and I found a place where not only was my uh, aggression, you know, warranted, but it was also, it, was, it had a place, a place, it had a, a proper place. I got to put it somewhere. And so when I left it at the gym and I started to walk through the world in a different way, you know, good things happen. You know, you, if you're carrying an extra weight with you constantly, you're putting that out in the world and you get that back. You know, people are a mirror. They're going to reflect what you're giving them. So when I got to leave that with these like very beautiful people who are, you know, more, more aggressive than me, more uh, skilled than me, and they were humbling me every single day. And, and I realized, okay, I got to check myself. And, and that, uh, that changed my life. You know, the sport changed my life. Like it does for many of us. I love that answer. That was incredible. And you mentioned that you have children, uh, you know, going out there and, you know, not just being a fighter of life, but also being a fighter in the cage. Uh, what, what, how do you feel like as a father, like having your kids go out there and see you? What's that been like? You know, I'm lucky that they're very young. I have a three-year-old and a six-month-old, so they don't really know what's going on. Um, but they watch me train. They watch me. It's a, it's a game. It's a game right now. It's fun. Dad's having fun. Dad's hitting the bag. Dad's, you know, let's go run and hit the bag with dad, you know. And, um, as they grow, I, I want them to learn the lessons um, of this sport because I've seen other other young men grow up in the sport without having the, the hardships or, or whatever self-inflicted dramas that I had in my life, uh, and they can still get the benefit of the sport, that, that humility, that the fact that we are all equal on the mats. You know, I don't care how much money, what car you drove up in, what, what are your, whatever your status is on Instagram. It doesn't matter. When you come on the mats and you're new, you're going to be – building your way up to that hierarchy, right? It's it's there, it's established like a dog pack. Like we know who's in charge and we know the rest of the pack where we all sit. And that is universal and that is so beautiful. The mat is the great equalizer and I want my boys to realize that hard work and consistency is the only way to progress. Yes, well said, man, well said. Um, my last question to you is, you know, obviously you've been already in the sport for a bit, but what are your short and long-term goals within MMA? Yeah, that's actually a great question. I think, uh, I think that, I'm at a point in my life where I actually have an answer to that. For a long time, I was like, I'm going to fight until the end of my days. And 
I'm not there anymore. You know, I, I, I'm going to fight. Don't get me wrong. I've still got a lot of fights ahead of me. But I think I'm, I'm fighting with that end goal in mind of sharing the sport, sharing the beauty of it to the masses. I think that there's a small percentage of people who actually take the time to go into a gym. And for good reasons, I know that not all gyms are inviting and it can be scary. And intimid- I get that. But my hope is to bring mixed martial arts to a vast majority of people in a safe and inviting way and that they can benefit from the, the things that I got to learn from without having to maybe go through the crucibles that I did. Oh my God, well said, man. I feel like I, talked, I can talk to you forever, but thank you so much for chatting with us today and good luck at Up Next Fighting.